Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing well. This is Rudy. The Texas Deacon and I are out at Mount Carmel today. It's April the 19th, 2012. And um, Texas Deacon, you've been out here, what, uh, eight? This will be 18 years in a row. I missed the first memorial because I just did not know about it. Uh, I look around, I see our, our vehicle only, four of us here. I remember in 1995, there might have been 4,000 of us here. There was like seven TV stations and radio stations, their vehicles everywhere. Satellite dishes being set up. Uh, these vehicles had the satellite dishes on top. People all over the place. Over the years, they have dwindled down. There's some of us that are not going to let the world forget what happened here, what our government did to a peaceful religious community. It's the first time I came here, the, uh, they hadn't even hauled any of the debris away at that time. And the FBI had a chain link fence around it and they had uh, a travel trailer with people in it and it wasn't it at the first, like a lot of people, I tended to believe the story the government put out, believable, I guess. But then after I came here, saw a few things, started talking to a few people, I realized that 99% of what the government said was lies and I'm not real sure about the other 1% either. People died here, were murdered by the government. Why? It was not to arrest Koresh. He went to town every day. You could arrest him out there. They waited till Sunday morning, and more people are home on Sunday morning than any other time of the week. So they chose a time when there'd be most people here to make the raid, and I don't understand that. And all the cameras that disappeared that would tell the story. Hey, we may have a second vehicle. Oh, we have a second vehicle, perhaps. But, as I say, I remember when it was virtually standing room only out here. People forget. They just forget. People died here. Many people, children, women. What kind of a police officer would fire into a building knowing that it was full of women and children? I have trouble accepting that. I've known a few police officers in my life, we all have. None of them that I've ever known would do such a thing like as that. The, and in my mind, I cannot rationalize how you could get that many people with a just the ability or the desire or the want to just kill people. You know, babies, there were babies in here. There was old women. And of course, a life is a life, but there was uh, all ages. I'm hoping that someday some of the people that, the murderers that made this raid, will clear their conscience and come forward and, and talk about it. Uh, so far as, as far as I know, none have to this point. And I don't know what to think about it, I really don't. I have an opinion on the type of person that was the type of police officer that would fire into a building full of women and children, but I'm sorry, I just can't put that on camera. It's, it even, <laughs> would even violate my values, I think, and my values sometimes are kind of loose. I hate to admit that. But anyway, we're here today, and as long as I am alive and able, I will be here on April the 19th, even if I'm the only one here, even if I'm here by myself, I will be here. And if there's anyone else out there that can be here, and a lot of people can, please join me, join the others. This, this was just 19 years ago that the government attacked with tanks, helicopters, machine guns, and everything. And 
I just don't know what to say. I, my mind is still boggled over it. But I'm here today to respect the memory of those. And when you think where we're sitting now is over where the main building was, there were people dying here. When I hear the wind, I think I can almost hear their, 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 their cry for justice. Uh, it's and the pain we cannot imagine the pain that they went through and those children when they were injected with with all that gas at a lethal level and then the fire no we, we can't even start to imagine that and the pain and suffering they go through it's it, it's it's mind scooby it's mind-boggling i just can't imagine it <sighs> listen I'm going to have to turn it back over to Rudy before I told him to use it. <laughs> well, well, Deacon, you have educated me on uh, what's going on uh, down here, and I want to appreciate. I want to tell you that I appreciate you uh, for not letting the memory of Waco uh, be forgotten. And in today in America, they're trying to let us. They're trying to take our religious freedoms away. Uh, and in America, you can you can do what you, you we have religious freedom and. Uh, I, I, you know, I talk to people about what's going on in Waco, and they just don't seem to understand. And so, um, you know, we need to we need to remember what happened in Waco. And um, I appreciate the Texas Deacon for not forgetting and uh, for helping keep the memory of Waco alive. And um, we need, we need to stand up against government tyranny. And I, I, I appreciate those that have a courage and the and the and the courage, I guess, the courage and the and the. Just whatever it takes to stand up and say we ain't, this is this is not the America that we grew up in, and uh, we're not going to let our Texas brothers and sisters that were murdered by the government to be not forgotten. We're going to remember April 19th, and we're going to come down here and uh, and respect their memory. So thank you, Texas Deacon, for helping educate me, and uh, God bless every one of you. Well, Rudy, we have seen about all there is to see out here. There's a memorial service being held in a few minutes. Clive Doyle will be there, so let's go visit him in the services. And never forget, remember the Alamo, remember Goliad, remember Waco will be the battle cry for Texas now.